We are going to learn how to deploy Windows 8 professional operating system on a VMware Workstation Pro. Let's say you want to deploy or install a Windows 8 in a test environment, probably because you want to learn how to upgrade to a Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system. Let's see how to do that in a VMware Workstation Pro. First of all, you want to create a new virtual machine. So by creating a new virtual machine, you can see here we have two options. One, we can actually go for the typical, which is recommended, or we can actually go for the custom, which is advanced. So I'll normally go for the typical, and then I will actually choose, I will install the operating system later. Then I will click Next. And here we can now select a Windows 8 operating system. You can see we have Windows 7. We also have Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I will choose Windows 8. It's going to be a 64-bit operating system. Click Next. And then you want to choose the location where you want to install the Windows operating system. And then give the virtual machine a name. And then click Next. Here you're going to actually say, well, you want to store the virtual disk as a single file. Or you want to split the disk, which of course is going to actually um, reduce performance but at the same time it will actually create a small virtual disk and then increase it as the disk increase what i normally do also is increase my disk space then you can now click next and here we can now actually customize the hardware for example i can decide to actually increase this to like four or eight gigabytes and we can see we have the processor and the CD drive. We can actually decide to use an ISO image if you have downloaded the Windows 8 operating system. Browse to where the um, Windows 8 operating system is and then click close. Then I didn't actually select. I'm going to just use the physical one. Then click close and then click finish. So right now, here I have a Windows operating system I'll be using for my Windows 8. And we already have our Windows 8 attached to this device. Here you can see the Windows 8.1 ISO. And now I want to power on this virtual machine. So now you can see that the installation process just got started. So let's just wait for the next, process, next steps, then we can continue the installation. Here we go here you can see we have the language to install and the time and currency you can see at this moment it says united kingdom but because i live in belgium so i will need to actually choose my country so i need to choose like for example let's go to dutch belgium and then automatically the right keyboard will be selected so click next and here you can see it says install now or we can actually repair this device but i want to install now So before this step, actually, you need to enter the serial number of the Windows 8 operating system you are trying to install and then click Next. Here, I'm going to accept the license terms and then click Next. So you can see we have the upgrade. So I don't want to upgrade right now. I just want to do a custom install. And here we have unallocated space of about 100 gigabytes. We can decide to create a new partition, but let me just click Next to install the operating system on the 100 gigabytes so right now you can see the copying of the files went very fast and it's trying to get files ready for installation so this is going to go from two percent to about 100 percent all in features will be installed and then the updates so i will let's come back again when we are getting things finished in this installation process so right now we need to enter a pc name so i'm going to give this device Windows W001 and then click next. Here I'm going to, you can actually use the express settings or you can customize. I'm just going to use the express settings for this connection. So right now you can see it says sign into your Microsoft account. At this moment, I don't want to sign in to my Microsoft account. I want to use a local account. So what I need to do is to create a new account. So just click create a new account and then Hold on for some seconds. And here you can see it says something went wrong. So we want to create a local account. So you can just give this account, for example, user's name. Let me just call this Kelvin and then enter a password. And then you can just enter a password hint and then click finish. You can see um, it's going to actually configure the Windows 8 
device and the goal of this device actually to install this windows 8 device and then upgrade it to a windows 10 operating system here we go you can see that the installation just got completed but if you are using a vmware workstation pro to install this you can see that the resolution is not optimal so what we need to do right now is to install the vmware tools on this windows 8 operating system so let me open file explorer and then let's go to the this uh you can see we have the vmware tools here so let's just double click and open that here you can see that the vmware tools preparing the vmware tools for installation so this is going to take some few seconds let's just wait for that and then continue the process so to complete the installation of the vmware tool setup what you need to do is to click next and here you're going to select typical and then or you can also select, select complete but I'm, i will just select typical and then click next and then install and then during the installation process you can see that the windows 8 resolution will change and gives you the opt then you have the option to actually change the resolution to your own choice so let's just wait for this to get complete and then we can see the effect of the changes here we go now you can see the changes that just took effect in this windows 8.1 operating system so if i click finish then i will need to actually restart my virtual machine but at the same time i can actually go to screen resolution and here you can see the resolution of the screen because i've actually installed the vmware tools and right now we can decide to actually change it to our own choice so the best thing you can do is actually restart your device and then install all the required updates your device need to complete this process of the windows 8.1 so i restarted my device and uh, let me just log on to this device and here we go so we are trying i'm trying to log on to the device and then we can now perform some updates so i've logged on to this device so what i want to do right now is to actually just try and let me just click the and then search for windows updates let's search for updates here we go we have the check for updates so let's try and check for updates so you want to click check now to see if there are any available update so if there are any available updates then probably you want to update your device before you upgrade to a windows 10 device so if you have been using windows 8 and you want to upgrade so definitely you want to try to make sure you have all the latest or the recent quality updates on your device and all the necessary updates before you now upgrade your device to a windows 10 and if your device is compatible with windows 11 you definitely can upgrade from windows 8.1 to a windows 11 operating system 